So now in this video we're going to use the 555 timer in a stable mode again to fade an LED. So the last video we used just a capacitor to power the LED directly. I thought I would like that better but I don't. I like the transistor better. So I just would have shown this video if I knew that. But in any case people don't seem tired of these videos yet so I'll just make another one. Now we had to use a large value capacitor to power the LED directly. Now we're using a transistor. It's an amplifier. A very small amount of current through the base 2 emitter allows a lot more current. Since it's a 2N3904, I'm guessing it's probably about two times, uh, 200 times as much current flowing that way that we put from a collector to emitter that we put from base to emitter. Somewhere around there. A lot of variables uh, change, change it, but uh, I bet it's close to 200. But in uh, any case, last video we powered the LED directly with the capacitor. Now we can use a much lower value capacitor, 10 microfarad instead of 1000 microfarad, which is also the value we're using for our timing. We'll get to that. So, in any case, when the output is high, the capacitor will charge. Once it's got enough voltage, it'll keep moving more and more current through the base 2 emitter and a lot more current, but more and more current is going to flow through the LED. It's going to get brighter. And uh, then when the output goes low, because this is wired in A stable mode, it's just going to keep going high and low it connects uh, pretty much directly to ground and uh, so we have this diode here because I don't want the capacitor to discharge that way I only want it to discharge that way so that uh, diode prevents it from discharging that way and uh, so as it discharges there will be less and less voltage it'll be providing less current through this resistance and uh, less current there means less current here and the LED fades so pretty straightforward last video uh, the difference with uh, this part here, I had 150 uh, kilo ohm resistors, 150,000. I dropped it to 100,000 because it seems like you have to go a certain speed with this setup. Otherwise, you level off on the top and, and kind of close to the uh, bottom. And uh, so the LED kind of stays at the same brightness for a period of time. We're reducing that by uh, changing how fast the output goes high and low. So, uh, that seems to be the only way I can solve that. I wanted to get the LED to fade slower, but uh, that didn't work so well. So we can just turn it on and off faster. And uh, so 100 kilo ohms to get the uh, capacitor charging. It also goes through that diode because that's easier than the resistor. And once it charges two thirds supply voltage, then it connects to ground and discharges there. And while the capacitor is charging, the output's high, probably about four volts. Doesn't make it all the way to the positive supply. And then when we get to two-thirds supply voltage then it discharges until we get to one-third supply voltage and uh, then it connects to ground right there uh, we covered that a lot in uh, previous videos so I'm gonna end it there let's look at it on the board so here you can see we're using five volts if you saw the last video the red LED is doing a lot better at uh, getting a, a decent brightness so probably about 10 milliamps of current flowing through it approximately and I think we were closer to like two or three when we were trying to power directly with the capacitor until we bumped up the uh, voltage by quite a bit, uh, supply voltage. So in case there's our 10 microfarad capacitor being charged through that resistor in that diode. You can see the uh, cathode, the gray stripe right there comes to the capacitor. Pin two and pin six tied together right there. We have to power it. And uh, so pin eight, top pin to the positive supply. Uh, pin number one to the negative supply the top pin there and uh, the reset pin we don't want it to do anything so we're directly to the positive supply right there uh, pretty straightforward charges through that 100 kilo ohm resistor the uh, diode and then uh, discharges through that 100 ohm resistor when the discharge pin connects basically directly to ground we have the output here the diode so that the capacitor can charge but not discharge through the output and uh, so it's a 10 microfarad capacitor. These are polarized. You have to put the uh, negative side where there's that gray dash right to there. And now it's, the LED is just turning on and off because I got rid of the uh, capacitor. So we got the capacitor back 15 kilo ohm. So the NPN bipolar junction transistor, in case you don't know the pin layout for the 2N3904, we got the flat side there. So the emitter is down here, base in the middle, and then the collector on top. That's the shorter lead. Of the LED longer lead to the 200 ohm resistor 220 ohm resistor right there so shorter lead cathode longer lead anode that's really about it uh, we looked at the schematic let's look at some voltages now 
My pocket oscilloscope here has the uh, cable that comes out there to these uh, alligator clips, which I clip to breadboard jumpers just so I can uh, quickly move them around to uh, different points of interest. First, we can look at the uh, supply voltage right there. And uh, we got five volts as, uh, as we expected. No surprise there. Now, we'll look at what this capacitor is charging and discharging to that we have uh, there. And you can see the voltage of the capacitor doesn't really change that much. That's because it's providing current as long as it's above about 0.6 volts. And uh, so it's uh, doing that. And then even when it tries to raise the voltage there, there's a lot more resistance. And so it doesn't go up very much because current uh, leaks out of there and holds it down. So pretty straightforward. But again, all we need is a small amount of current to go through the uh, transistor base to emitter to get a lot more current going through there. Now, we uh, can see the LED is uh, fairly bright, and so we're probably close to about five volts going across it. And we can see how much exactly it's going across the resistor and the LED because they're both important for how much uh, current is flowing through the LED because the resistor is what is limiting the current. And there you can see it's not 5 volts, it's actually uh, 4 volts. Looks pretty spot on right there going across them. So the transistor is probably not saturated yet, but uh, uh, it's doing you know good enough to get the LED uh, fairly bright right here. And uh, so you can see here that uh, it, the voltage goes up across the resistor in the LED. It's actually relatively quickly, but it does look like it's fading. Uh, relatively quickly and it goes down and uh, LEDs still kind of light up with a very very small amount of current going through them so the uh, effect is easier to see as it's uh, dimming than when it's getting brighter but uh, in any case we looked at a bunch of other voltages in the uh, last video so I'm just gonna end this one here hope you enjoyed all of it make sure you check out one of the videos that I'm posting click like subscribe the bell all that if you can donate to Patreon, please do. That helps out a ton. I got links down in the description. And uh, that's it. I will see you in the next video.